So tonight I'm unveiling two new dishes. You're the first to try it, apart from the chefs in the kitchen. So no one has tasted this before. And the two new dishes are the last two on your menu. So I go through each dish as I come out. So I'll start with the first one. And it's a beautiful, imperfect relationship. So this is, I don't want to consider it personal, but you know, you just met the young lady and everyone brings to the table two different backgrounds. But you don't know how it works and it kind of works. So this dish kind of represents that in a little sense. All right. So it's a duo of pepper pot puree and a cream of pumpkin soup two jamaican stalwarts and they're poured right in the middle at the same consistency and they're so in the soup bowl it's split you see green on one side you see orange on one side and the flavors blend in well and it has a coconut milk on the side with a piece of scotch bonnet pepper and you can add the coconut milk as much as you like bon appetit and we're looking forward to a wonderful evening all right so what are you having this evening as you taste it, it's very fresh, very um, fruity, very zingy. It has that citrusy, slightly sharp. Um, right? So on the nose, there is there is this you know boysenberryish kind of. It's it, it's a blend of a number of um, yeah, cut green grass kind of flavor you get on it. Very fresh and, and it works works well with food. So you meet this girl, she's great. Yeah, it, go around the town, spend some dinners together, and then the party starts. Check out Marban and a couple other parties. So you, this dish is called La Vida Loca, the crazy life. And assuming she has a Spanish background, this dish is kind of crazy. It's sweet, it's sour, she's moody, it goes back and forth. There's a lot of things popping, cilantro, pepper, sweet peppers. There's a, fresh, there's a burst of fresh flavors in this dish. It's a chips on the side. It's not meant to dip in or anything. You just have the lobster, the ceviche by itself and then the chips you just finish it or start it any way you like this one is a combination of spices it's about six spices that the salmon is rubbed with seared and then grilled and topped with a watermelon chutney and it's served at the base of it a cilantro rice so it's a very interesting combination of flavors happening in the plate and the salmon is cooked to perfection so it's nice and soft and moist not flaky not dry so what we're having here to try with the salmon Typically, everyone goes with a white wine with fish. When we looked at the salmon, look at what was the salmon, I said to these guys, you know what? Beaujolais Village is actually one of the wines, because it's very light. So it's actually one of the wines that works very well with, um, with, with, with salmon or light, light fare. So the next course, it's, uh, it's called Modern Classics. And we can't get enough of oxtail in Jamaica. And we've, we've come upon this style of dish by a chance. For my French embassy days, they will love this because it's a puff pastry. But it's a puff pastry waffle. All right? So the waffle, we love dumpling with oxtail and all kind of thing. But this is gourmet. You know, this is gourmet cuisine. We can't necessarily serve dumpling. Right? So in order for our French visitors to come here and appreciate something different than a Jamaican side, you want to give international flair but Jamaican flavors, so this is a fusion of that. So it's a puff pastry waffle, six hours slow cooked cold oxtail. White bean puree, so it has the same characteristics, a carrot, you chop up the Irish and the same thing, but we have to refine it a little bit. A carrot mousse, so it's whipped pureed with Irish potato, and it's very soft, it's almost like an Irish potato you're having. And the waffle puff, and grilled marinated tomatoes, so just Refresh your palate while you're continuously eating that oxtail. All right, so please enjoy this oxtail. The problem just wasn't enough. It, it wanted some more. Eh? I wanted a little bit more. Ryan is taking it to the next level, and it's bringing a fair amount of gourmet, gourmet dishes, but not, but not into too much of a sophistication bringing it in an approachable way and it was good check it out 689 by brand number respect as chris was saying about the oxtail you can't get enough we, it's not that we didn't get enough you just can't get enough the problem is if you got too much you'd eat it till you die so it's a good thing he gives you what you can handle especially tonight uh, the whole menu was a cornucopia 
of mouth fantasy. We have a Argentinian Merlot um, from Diageo, which is yeah, man, which is Navarra Correas. So it's a medium body, medium to full body wine. Um, nice flavorful. It's not their it's not their icon wine. It's their it's their reserve wine. So it has it has had some 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 oak aging on it. So it gives a little complexity to it. So it should be good with it. Um, one thing with pairing wine and food in Jamaica, the difficulty is the spice level. You never understand what the spice level is until you actually taste it. Okay. All right. So we we're at near end of the the course. Ladies, I'm thinking against us men that we're we get a little bit distracted sometimes, but. We're headed for the goal, you know. I want to get married. I want to have kids. I want to have a family. So this dish, married with kids, represents that. When you're married with kids, it's a total chaos, especially young children. But if you take a step back in the midst of that chaos, you'll probably find just that those beautiful moments. You don't know how it worked, the house is a mess, but for some reason you'll not trade it for anything in the world. And this dish represents that. It's crazy, it's funky, it's new, you don't put things together, but when you taste it, it definitely kind of works in a weird kind of way. Alright? And, it, and, it, and, it, and, it, and I'm trying to trigger some memory. Because I used to have eggnog when I was much younger in high school. I don't know how many people used to have that. It's always been a dream of mine to have an eggnog ice cream. Right? There's no rum in it. You can have a shot of rum with it if you want. Uh, but this dish is married with kids so enjoy eggnog guys okay and then to finish with it we have a pearly bay um, wine it's a sweet light and and fruity wine that goes well with the dessert to finish off to just cleanse the platter all right the dessert tonight was crisp bright plantain and jackfruit it was in like a little wonton and then there was eggnog ice cream i was very excited for the eggnog ice cream method to the madness all of the crazy things put together taste amazing i have not had eggnog ice cream in forever so that was really really nice and we know the hint of the you know the um interesting crisp ripe planting and jackfruit this is a magnificent tasting menu it's a wonderful tasting menu and i will certainly be back for more